Throwing a shot put is not sexy. I have been told that on several occasions. Here we are sacrificing our bodies, our time, our energy to be great at something, but then because of how we look, we don't get the time we deserve. How you look doesn't determine anything about how great you are because your greatness comes from the inside out. Nobody there. You push it. There you go. The reaction time of pushing, getting stronger in that pushing motion, because when I get to the center ring, I have to push my leg down to drive my body up. Rip it out. Ready? Go. Rip. Fast, fast, fast. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Ready? Stop. Oh. Not bad for no girl. Experience, thank you. In the beginning, it was frustrating with my dad when he saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. Stay long in the back, pull your right foot, keep your left arm long as you're driving up. Let's go. Almost. You started out long, then you shortened it. You normally hear like father, like son. Okay. But I think people forget that when you're born, you get 50 50 of both parents' genes. And I got my father's shoulders and thighs. I remember one doctor told me, he was like, I've never seen this much muscle on a woman. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, right? <laughs> so I always had that confidence that I'm good the way I am. If you don't like me, that's on you, but I'm okay with me. What really made me see that differently was when I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease, which is an autoimmune disease where my body attacks my thyroid. I've always been a big girl. Like, I've always been thicker, thighs, shoulders, chest. Like, I've always had that. But then when our body started to change, I wouldn't buy clothes because I kept saying I'm not going to buy clothes until I lose the weight. And then I kept gaining weight. And the next thing you know, I put on some jeans one day that I wore literally two weeks before the day I put them on. And I couldn't even get them up my thighs. And I just remember crying. I didn't even feel like myself. Practice became harder and harder and harder every single day. And I'm like, well, maybe this is it. Maybe my body is telling me that I can't do this anymore. Sometimes we, we lie to ourselves about a lot of things. Like we try to make things seem okay when it really isn't okay. And so when I accepted that I was sick, I was able to really kind of let go of all the things that I was holding on and hoping to do and have when it came to my body. I just didn't want to give up on myself just because I was sick. Is this crazy that I've had this career? 
And it's not like I set out to do all these things, but here I am, a three-time Olympian, possibly a four-time Olympian. My focus isn't on getting a medal, because you can get a medal at any distance. I just want to show up being my best. I am proud of myself for keeping going. I've been able to stay in this sport for so long, and I'm still here. And that's it just like, I'm still here.